Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a box from Birkenstock. I have been wanting to get a pair of their sandals for a while. Previously, I remember when I was in UK, I bought a pair of their Chelsea boots, but I wasn't aware of how different the sizing could be. So it just has been too big and since then, I have been wanting to get something else from Birkenstock, but I'm just not sure about their sizing. When I went into, for example, DSW to try, try on the size, they only have down to, I think, 41 for men's. And then you could find smaller size, but it's on the women's section. I'm just not 100% sure that they are the same. It seems that they use EU size and they don't have like men's size or women's size. I'm not sure. So it has been really confusing. Let's take it out. It's a small box. I think this is just receipt. So usually I wear a size 9. Sometimes for Converse, I would size down like 8.5. That's what Converse recommend. And for some European sneakers, I have to even size down even more like size 8. And then when I try to do the conversion on Birkenstock's website, it seems it say if you are 8 to 8.5 should be size 41. I know 42 is definitely too big for me. So for today's unboxing is this. Birkenstock Boston with Horwin's leather. Previously, when I unboxed my Horwin's leather KMM and Co bag, I was really impressed with the leather that they use. So when I saw that Birkenstock produced a pair of Boston that using Horwin's leather, I really wanted to try it. But then now I'm not sure that this size would fit me exactly. I'm a little bit nervous because I kept going back to the store to try but it seems the size sometimes could be up and down. But I guess if this is slightly too big, I can still maybe wear a pair of thick socks for the winter look, I guess. So before filming this, I did look up their website on how they recommend the fit is. It seems that they recommend that when you step into the shoes, from the edges to your your heel, it should be a half centimeter of space instead of like all the way, all the way to the edges. And then for the front, it's supposed to be one centimeter from the edges. But since this one, you can't see anything inside here. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's give you a closer look. The top to show you it is quite thick of a leather. I'm really impressed with this leather thickness. I think first time seeing leather shoes that thick of a leather. And then also interesting, what I found different is when I try on other sandals in the store at BSWU, this is different. Like you see how it kind of go in a little bit deeper. It's like your feet supposed to fit in a little bit deeper, almost like it protect your heel a little bit. And that's the thickness of the sole and the outsole is like that. Feel like kind of a hard rubble outsole. So this pebble texture you see, I believe they are they are printed on, like they are being pressed. I think they have some kind of machine that press on the leather texture. So this is not like normal regular leather texture. And on the side you do have a little bit of logo here. Inside of it is pretty straightforward. I believe the the insole the lining here is sway lining. Not sure how well sway lining would hold up and or how to clean it. I will have to look it up and practice next time. But I did buy the the cork sealer that 
to supposedly if you're supposed to put it on to protect this part so that it can last a little bit longer I heard that people have their broken stock that lasts more than 10 years even 20 years we'll see how well this lasts looks pretty good the reason I decided to try out Birkenstock shoes because I feel like with their rounded toe wider kind of design it gives this kind of like comfy relaxed look which I feel like it would match my style better I think this one would go well with what I usually wear so so if you're not familiar with Birkenstock the reason they use this cork material is because at first it may feel a little bit stiff once you wear it like a week or so it should start to soften and then mold to the shape of your feet and people claim that once it's broken in it's super comfortable because it just basically molded into how your how your feet are the shape the contour and so it should be comfortable to wear once once you break it in so i'm going to try it on and let's see how it looks on my feet I hope you liked today's unboxing and thanks for joining me today. Let's see how this hold up. I'll report back and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.